The news about Railway 3 is out and I hate it. There are some features in Railway 2 that some of us like that's just completely gone. What are those features and why do I hate Railway 3? Let's find out. Before we talk about Railway 3, let me talk about our sponsor. <coughs> let me talk about the first two railways. In short, Railway 1 is 13 station where you and your 5 sinners of your choice battle to find the shortest term possible. You could just go on YouTube and find a guide for it and just follow it, which is a not bad thing per se. But as someone who used to do that in Railway 1, I feel like I did not improve as a player, nor learn a single thing from those. Then Railway 2 is out. What's the difference? They added some new mechanics to the game. They changed so it's 7 sinners instead of 5, and the best one for me is the skill back carryover mechanic. Before we delve further into this, skill back is basically a quote unquote back where your unit takes skills from. At the start, the back consisted of 3 skill 1, 2 skill 2, and 1 skill 3. And you take the skills one turn at a time until it ran out and it reached for another back. Easy, right? Okay, back to the topic. Railway 2 have this mechanic carry over to each boss, so it is less of an RNG and more of a skill. It lays a layer of complexity to the game since you have to strategize your unit and not just blatantly spam good skills. It also makes your team and the enemy speed the same, so you can't roll for speed RNG anymore. This made Railway 2 quote unquote harder since people can just blindly follow a guide because there are so many variables come into play now. Then, they did for some the worst mechanic of all time. Loops. Loops make it so there are replayability to the game and make the game have two kinds of goals. The usual low turner and the new high cycle chasers. Project Moon might not use the best example for a loop nor the enemies for it, but in my opinion, and some, it is great, especially since they added ally and enemy buffs, which makes the game harder and harder as we cycle through, but we have things to play with. Most people rated Railway 2 negatively, and now we have Railway 3. They just remove all of the features on Railway 2 and call it a day. Well, not really, since they add several things, which I think is a good thing. First of all, they made pit stops, where you can heal HP and SP, and never changed your units, which created rooms for experiments and creativity. They even added the ability to go back to a certain boss, if you feel like you can improve the run. But all the boss you've beaten after that certain boss will be resetted, just like Railway 1. Level, uptie, and any progress to the senior is not locked as well, so you can play on the go and not needing to reset the run after a new idea has come out and you want to play with it. Observation level buff is also disabled which is a good thing in my opinion. And now, why do I hate it? Because they removed some of the fun mechanics they introduced in Railway 2, like the ally and enemy buff, and especially the skill back carryover mechanic. Before we continue further, let me divide the player base into two big categories, casual and competitive. I have interviewed some players about Railway 2 before, casual and competitive, even some content creators. The result about it is not yet done because I still need some more general populist opinion. So if you want to help, please fill the form in the description, it will help a lot. Moving back, most of the competitive players that I interview like the skill back carryover mechanic and it as a layer of complexity and need to search just around it. They are indifferent about loops, except for the high cycle chasers. Most of the casual player that I interview despised loops, especially the boss at the start of the loops such as Talisman, the steam transport machine, and Fox. But they are fine about the skill back carryover mechanics, it's just they hated how much you need to fight the bosses 29 compared to the normal 13, and some of the bosses is just plain stupid for them. In all of my current responses, which is not a lot, there have been no mention of skill back mechanic being bad whatsoever. People who mention it actually like the skill back carryover mechanic. About Railway 3, I know it is hard to implement since in a pit stop you can just change your sinner's ID and it can break the skill back. But I think there's a work around that Project Moon doesn't want to delve further into. Project Moon also removed an objective some people want to do, the high cycle chasers. Now it's gonna be low turners. And there are only one way to enjoy the railway competitively now. Maybe we 
as the community, make some fun stuff and categories on our own. Maybe it could be fun, who knows. There are more that I want to talk about, but we'll have to wait until Railway 3 is out and we test it for ourselves. But my initial thoughts about Railway 3 is I hate how they just revert it back to Railway 1 without adding some more fun stuff they added at Railway 2. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy my content and I'll see you later. Goodbye!